Okay, in this video we'll show you how to perform a 12 ribbon fiber splice from start to finish. We'll be using the S218R for stripping the fiber. We'll be using normal cotton to clean the fiber with alcohol. We'll be using the S325A to cleave the fiber. This is the normal cleaver that's used for single fiber cleaving. We'll be using the S123M12 for splicing the fiber and we will be using the S927B for splice protection after the splice has been completed. The first step, we will need to clean or at least strip the fiber. To do this, we will load the fiber holder into the fiber stripper, close both clamps and wait for the green light to go solid. This will indicate that it's hot enough to strip the fiber. We'll press and pull. Flick it open and clean the thermal stripper. Discard the waste. As you can see, I've already prepared one earlier. The next step is to clean the fiber. This is very important, otherwise you will have large excess offsets on your fusion splice. Once we've cleaned it, let's we'll clean this a little bit. Ideally, you need to get a squeak. Once it's cleaned, all we need to do is just tickle this or vibrate the fibers for them to separate. That's good. Same with this one. That's good. The next step, we'll be cleaving the fiber using the S325. I'm left-handed. We'll load the fiber into the fiber cleaver, close the lid and cleave. We'll transfer this to the fusion splicer and we'll repeat the process for the right-hand fiber holder. We'll load this into the fusion splicer. Before we press splice, what we'll have to do is make sure that we've selected the appropriate splice program and heater program. In this case we are splicing single mode, the program is set to single mode auto, the machine will automatically detect how many fibers there are and select, in this case, 12 ribbon fiber program. We select the heater program to the S927B, which is, which is the product we're using to splice protect after the splice has been completed. So we'll have a cleaning arc, fibers feed in, they are joined together by fusion splice. Once the fusion splice is completed, we'll get splice results being displayed. In this case it's 0, 1, highest is a 0, 4, and fiber number 1 is a 0, 2, so there's all the detail in there as well. We can change view, X and Y view. All these images are automatically captured together with the splice data for the last 100 splices. Once this is completed, when we open the canopy, the machine automatically performs a tension test to make sure that the splice is of a good quality. I'll open my heater protection area, my, my heater. I will slide on a splice protector release the splice from the fiber holders, slide the splice protector over the splice, lower it into the heater and you can see that the heater activated automatically and you can see that the heater is heating up already. We also have a preheat function where we can start the heater sooner to bring it to a warm temperature to shorten the heating time as well. I'll open this so you can see how the splice protector is shrinking from the center outwards. This is important in order to remove all air bubbles from the splice area. Once we are complete with the splice protection, there will be a cooling fan indicator coming on. 
which will help to cool the splice, the protected splice. Once we get that beep, we know that it's completed and we can remove it. And that's the end of the 12 ribbon fiber splice.